Continuing with um, explaining about React components, I think it's a good idea to compare the Bootstrap components with React components because Bootstrap components is something that we may be familiar. A lot of people know about Bootstrap components. And if you don't know about it, you should because Bootstrap changed the web a lot a few years ago when, when they brought this approach. Like, let's just have like little bunches or groups of HTML with a particular purpose. So they created, for example, this this bunch of lines in HTML. Every time you copy and paste them, they will show up like a card like this without all the hustle of doing the actual CSS of it. Like you just copy this, you know that if you have Bootstrap in your website, if you have the style sheet that Bootstrap proposes, you can just copy this and put it in your website and it will look exactly like this card. And that's super cool because it saves you a lot of time, basically. So the same happens with React. React is proposing now to create your own Bootstrap. You think can think about it like that. So you can create your own components, but it, it's a lot more powerful because you create them on the go and then you can reuse them as HTML. You don't have to put all this code because when you create your own component, you can just use, let's say that I, I'm gonna create a function called Jumbotron and in my JavaScript function, I can return some code. Actually, I could return, let me look for a Jumbotron. I could grab my Jumbotron entirely and I can make this function return the Jumbotron, like that. Like the moment you do that, now the Jumbotron tag will start existing and you would just be able to use it like this and it will show up like a Jumbotron. It's even more powerful than than a classic bootstrap. I have to remember to use class names. So let me use class name here. Here as well, here as well, here as well. Okay, what's the problem here? Oh yeah, I think it's something, it's messing with my tags. Let me remember what could be messing with my tags. There's a problem with missing closing tag. Because this div is closing here. Ah, it's an HR, where's it? Here it is. The HR. Remember to always close everything you opened in HTML because React will not like it. Maybe in HTML you can have an HR like this without closing it, but in React, mm -mm. no, no. So basically, remember to always close. And when you copy from Bootstrap or from anywhere in the web, some HTML is always this problem that not not everything is closed. It happens a lot with image tags, for example, and HRs definitely. So this is now my Jumbotron and it comes with properties. So what properties will a Jumbotron have? Like you have to think what you would want it to receive. Like for example, if this is a Jumbotron, I would want, I would love to be able to configure or parameterize this. I would be able to make this dynamic. And I can call that however I want it. This one as well, like the description, you can think about it. And then the button label and the button color like everything you want can be customized on the Jumbotron, it has to become a property. But in this example, I think they're asking for particular properties. Yeah, title, description, button label, and button URL. So let's have it like that. Let's have title. The title is going to be prop types dot string because it's a string. My description the same. So the same for description the same for button label and the same for button URL because they are all strings they can also be integers sometimes or arrays but in this particular case they are all strings now I receive them as a prop here so this will become my title I guess props.title that's how you use the properties that are being passed to you the same happens for the description. So in curly bracket props dot description. The same happens for the button label, but it's here. 
So perhaps dot button label. And for the URL, it's in the href. So perhaps dot button URL. But what, what about the other stuff? Oh, yeah, this bo Zoom button that, that they're asking, it's smaller than the one that I picked. It has a Zoom button, it has an M5. They're giving us here the code of the Zoom button that they want us to use, not the one that I picked from Booster. It's very similar, but it's not the same. Then a display 4, that's good. Lead, it's good. And we don't need this H4 that was giving me trouble at the beginning. We don't need it, and we don't need the P, just the A tag. Yeah, button, button primary, button large. It's all the same. So let's test it. First, let's see how it looks. We do have the Jumbotron here. That's super cool. It looks very good. Yeah. And now let's test it to see if we're matching the same output. Yeah, success.